Welcome to the video with the big, big news of my two channels. They're changing, and I am not going nowhere. So stay tuned, watch this video, and then all the other, all the stuff you'll need to know or, or whatever will be in my description box. So let's get right to it. Hi, everybody. This is Connie from Connie's Creative Creations which is changing. We're going to get to that in just a couple of minutes. But as I talk to you guys, I am going to paint. Um, I just need to figure out a way to keep my sh sheet with all of my notes from changing, moving on. you. So you should be able to see what I'm painting while I talk to you. Okay, so I've had this channel. Um, in August, it will be three years. And um, I started another channel a little over a year ago and um, haven't done very much with it so I have started to get very um, mundane and we'll get to that in a minute but I just wanted to tell you a little bit about my story before I completely get into all of that other stuff okay so the reason for my change in my um, channels, first of all, is I'm an artist. I've been an artist as long as I can remember. And I literally miss painting. So as a lot of you have um, said to me when you watch my, um, my, my DIYs, is that when I paint, I have gotten a lot of um, great feedback on how beautiful my um, paintings are. Well, first of all, just a little bit of backstory on that. Well, not first of all, but again, a little bit of backstory on my actual painting is um, I love art and I loved looking at it and seeing different things in it. Also, growing up, I would look at stuff and I could point, I could pick out the textures, the, the depth of these, these paintings. Now, my aunt and my um, mother was artists. Um, never went to any formerly schooling. My aunt did a little bit later in life, but, um, not like they didn't go to art school or anything. It was just an all all natural um, talent that they had. Well, um, I would sit and watch them and paint and I would ask, not so much my aunt, but I would ask my mother, how are you doing that? Can you show me? You know, all this different stuff. And that's not just with painting, that's everything she did. She was um, an artist, she was a crocheter, she was a quilter, a sewer, all these different things. Well, me as a young child and a very, very, uh, qu uh, qu I mean, a very, a child that wanted to know everything. I, whatever, I asked lots and lots of questions. So, um, she would tell me, well, by the time I was eight years old, I was sewing clothes for um, myself, for my sister's um, baby that was to be born. I um, was sewing clothes. So um, I loved the idea of... Um, using my hands, my eyes, to do things. Well, then when I got in, I learned, I didn't learn how to crochet from my mother, actually, even though she was an amazing, absolutely amazing crocheter. That was one thing, for some reason, I couldn't pick up from her. But I picked up needlepoint, quilting, um, uh, sewing, uh, all these different things, but and I picked up a lot of. I never had never painted, but I asked her lots of questions. Okay, 
of what she was doing, how she was doing it. As I went to junior high, or when I went to junior high, they were teaching um, knitting. Well, I picked that up really super fast. My mother was never a knitter. She tried to knit when I was, um, at that time when I was learning, she couldn't pick it up. Um, just like I couldn't pick up uh, crocheting from her which was just kind of um, odd to me that I couldn't pick it up, but I couldn't. So as I was going through school and learning all of these things, um, I just had a love, a passion. And so when I got to high school, I went into art class. And um, there was kids in that class that had been doing art for years. And the teacher absolutely was completely astounded with my um, ability to um, paint and do all kinds of art. I did ceramics, I did drawing, I did charcoals, I did scratch arts, I did ink arts, I did all kinds of things, but I loved to paint. So that was my passion. Um, the first year that I was in uh, um, art class, I was asked, well, first of all, a lot of the um, stores would come to the, um, the art teacher and ask her, do you have a, do you have a student that um, can paint really well? Well, that first year, she let she told him Connie can. So I was painting everybody's um, shops and window, um, uh, their windows for like different holidays. And so I was um, doing those, and um, I absolutely loved doing it. Well, then I became a TA, so I had art class and a TA. I learned oils, acrylics, watercolors, and I love water um oils but i can't stand the the waiting time that drives me crazy so i was not a big fan of um the uh you know the um uh yeah what am i trying to say the um oils i mean it was okay but it wasn't something that i really preferred to do so I loved I picked up on the acrylic paints because I absolutely love doing uh, acrylic paints and um, I started doing those and I love watercolors well after I got married life changes you know you got babies you got you know, all these different stuff that you have to, you know, pay attention to and take care of. Well, I don't even know if my husband knew I knew how to paint because I didn't pick it up. I did not pick up a single paintbrush uh, for years. And, um, well, at least not for painting. Then a uh art or crafts really got big and so um, I started doing uh, crafts and and selling them and I, I love doing it then this is where the fun part comes in then I um, wanted I started doing wood art and I really wanted to um, learn how to cut my own designs so that I could uh, do um, my own designs and sell my own designs. Well, that was awesome. Well, I, I got myself a scroll saw, a sand and a drill, and that's what I was using. Um, I never uh, had touched them before. I um, There was no videos back then you could watch the internet hadn't even started 
So I had a friend, and um, she was an amazing um, artist as well. And I asked her, I said, how do you use your scrolls? Because I had gone up to her house, um, and I had used her scroll saw for, um, for a long, long, long time. Well, I asked her, I said, can you show me how to use your um, scroll saw? So she did, and I fell in love with her. So I started doing everything I could with that scroll saw and um, became very passionate about what I was what I was using that for. Well, many years later, um, well, actually, um, can you think how many years ago it was? I found Robin Moses Nellar on on YouTube, and she I had already been doing my nails, but she was painting her nails, or not hers. She was painting nails for her customers, designs. Well, I fell in love with that. It's like, she's doing, you know, she's doing what? Well, so I thought, well, I'm gonna learn how. And I did. And I learned how to do it with my right hand and my left hand because that was something that I wanted to learn how to do. That's, you can't just paint one hand and not, and not the other, right? Whoa! So, I uh, learned how to paint with right hand and left hand. Then, um, after I retired, shortly after the C started, the big C, you know, and uh, I didn't have an outlet like I wanted because I had been doing painting classes um, when I lived in Utah, and I had was getting ready to start them here and teaching painting. Well, the sea came and that was the end of that because you couldn't go nowhere, you couldn't do anything. So I was unable to um, do that. Well, that's when um, I thought, well, I'm gonna at least watch people on YouTube. And I'd already been watching Robin Moses for a long, long time. And so I decided that I wanted to start my channel after I had been going to, um, it was Indiana Jones, but now she's changed her channel and I absolutely cannot remember. It has something to do with that. Um, I had gone, started going to her lives and everybody, I you know, was asking questions and everyone said, you should start a channel. So that's when I started my channel and I absolutely love doing it, but I was just doing um, DIYs and um, I love doing it, but then that's of course when we get to where people was telling me, you should paint, you, you know, you're good, you're, you're an amazing painter. Well, that's my passion. That's my biggest passion is actually uh, painting. I love painting. I love sharing my art and my love for art with everybody, with everyone who will listen, with everyone who will watch. So here I'm stuck in this niche of DIY and um, I thought, you know, I talked to Sarah from Ken Sarah DIY. Why she's, oh, I got a ladybug coming in my face. Um, she's an amazing friend, and she said, Connie, just do it. Just go for it. Um, if that's what you love to do, then go for it. I know at one time, uh, Indiana Jones had talked me into doing uh, a painting class because everybody always asked. So I did one a uh, little over a year, about a, just over a year ago. I had done a painting class and I just, now I literally think about painting all the time. Absolutely can't keep my mind off of uh, the painting. 
And every time I look at anything, I see it. So, now, let's get back to my notes because I want to make sure that I had wrote everything or did talk about everything I wanted to talk to you about. Um, okay, so, this channel is, um, so you think you, I mean, not so you think you know it's not. So this channel is my, uh, it's Connie's Creative Creations, of course. Well, that's changing, and my content here is changing. And the reason is because I want to focus more on my art on this channel. So, I'll tell you what the name of my new, this channel is going to be in just a couple minutes. But let's get to the other channel. The other channel was um, called uh, All Things Connie. And I don't have a lot of subscribers on there, but I have some. So if anybody has um, noticed, the name has already changed. So my other, I want to tell you, my other love and passion is woodworking. I love to work with wood. So over the last three years, I have gotten a ton of uh, um, tools, and I love working in my wood out in my uh, wood, with my wood. So I um, started. Uh, so I'm going. So I want to do something with wood. Well, I don't want to leave the DIY world because. I love DIYs as well. So I, um, my new, my All Things Connie channel has changed to, let me make sure I get it right because I don't want to mess up it up, Connie's wor Woodworks and DIYs. So I can put them together. Now, that has already been changed and I might be putting some of the videos that I already have on this channel over there just to get it started but if I do any DIY um, uh, challenges or anything unless it can fall in with my this channel it will be on the other channel so that is going to be where I'm going to mainly do um, all of my, uh, woodworking and all of my, um, DIYs. Now, this channel is the one that I'm excited for. Yes, I know some people may not want to sit and watch me, um, paint. And if that's not your cup of tea, I completely understand. And you can go... I hope that everybody will go over and subscribe to my new channel, uh, to that other channel as well. And um, so this, the big announcement is coming in just a minute. So um, I just hope that you guys can understand um, and why I am changing this uh, this channel because. I absolutely love my art. I absolutely love the uh, sharing of my, my talent that I have because um, this is something that is my passion. And I absolutely love it. So, just about done with this uh, uh, painting and I wanted to announce it at the the end of this because that's what this is all going to my whole my new or this channel is going to be all about my art and it's not going to be um just uh um acrylics i paint with watercolors and gouache and i do a little bit of um you know, of, um, the, uh, oils. I don't do it very often, and I won't do it very often, just because that is just not 
my cup of tea. I don't really care for it a lot. I love it. I bet I don't you know, I love it, but I don't like the um the wait time that it's involved in um the drying. I really just don't like that. And I maybe I'm maybe I'm being a, a, a snob about it, but um that's just not my cup of tea. So as I'm finishing this, I'm just doing a little bit of uh, making this look like a really big, beautiful flower. Okay, so, um, oh, also, I wanted to tell you, before I get to the name of my channel, I have a Facebook group that used to be a group where I used to do um, painting parties at my home. Well, I don't do that anymore. I live in a really, really small town now, and um, there's just not enough people to really um, handle doing that so much. And I would be open to it if somebody wanted that lives in this area. You better believe I would, because I love to teach. Um, and that is going to, that is on Facebook, and you are all welcome to um, join me on Facebook. Um, I also have an Instagram, and um, my Instagram name is going to change to reflect my, um, both of my channel names. I haven't quite figured that out as of yet. But I will get it figured out um, by the time um, this airs. Because right after this video, um, my channel name is going to change. So you will um, see it as soon as you're, it is done, uh, right after it airs. And so, uh, also, um, that... Uh, the Facebook page, I can't remember what channel, what uh, name I put on it. I think I put my new channel name, but if I didn't, I will be. So, and here I am just uh, writing my signature, and I need to lift up my painting, because I can't get it, my name written on there, but um, it has been... This is a labor of my love, my passion, and I would like to say to anybody, whatever you're doing, wherever you are, um, do stuff that you, you, you love. If you're not, do it. Find it and do it. Because that's where you're going to be happy. And where I'm the happiest is right here um, at my easel. Wherever my easel may be. Sometimes it's in the living room. Never the living room. Sometimes it's in the dining room. Sometimes it's in the kitchen. Right now I'm out on my porch. Um, yeah, anywhere. But do what you love. Um, you... I have found that you will burn out faster um, when you're not doing something you love to do. So find it, do it. Because I'll tell you what, it's very uh, liberating and I just, yeah, I, I this is my passion. I, I'm probably talking in circles back around. but. That is just something that I absolutely um, would say to anybody. Um, do what you love. Do your passion if you can, even if it is just a little bit. I know a lot of channels have stopped producing because they uh, burned out on it. And that saddens me. Um, but it's whatever that makes you happy. So, um, and if you have any 
any questions at all, please ask in the comments. Go on Instagram and ask away. Also, down in the description box, I will have all my names, my links, and all that to everything so that you'll be able to go. So this channel's name is going to be Art with Connie, or Arts with Connie. So I hope you guys love it. I hope you guys love this video. I hope you love this, this uh, painting that I just did in a real quick hurry. Um, I didn't want to just, I don't like just sitting and trying to twiddle my thumbs and trying to figure out things to do. I talk better if I'm doing something. So, um, yeah, let me check my, my notes and make sure I, um, so yeah, so I'm not leaving YouTube, no. And I won't be on my other channel as much. I will be putting out probably three painting video, two to three painting videos a week. Because every time I get bored, or every time I get antsy, I go paint. And I've been asked, where do you get your subjects? I look at books. I look online. I look at nature. I look at pictures that I've taken from my, my life. I look at other people's pictures. And I ask them, do you mind if I paint it? They, I've never had a no. So, you guys have a great week. Have a blessed week. And call somebody today and just say, hey, how are you? Do you need anything? Can I help you? Um, just anything like that. Because so many people are in a, a dark place right now, a cold place. And they really just need someone to talk to. So just be there for them. And also, don't forget to be the Bible that somebody reads today. Bye, guys. Thank you for supporting me. Bye.